We just want to leave a legacy here in the Bay. It's one of the best teams ever. It was all I thought about last summer, how precious each season is, each possession, each game, and each lesson you can learn. We came back on a mission. It was personal for everyone. We bring the title back to Oakland. We have guys that are selfless, humble. It goes beyond just the basketball team. It's a culture within the organization. It's the commitment to each other. It's the commitment to the game itself. It's the commitment to winning. We were so locked in. The passing, the scoring, the shooting. It was beautiful. We did it. We're NBA champs. Curry, bounce pass, Andre to the rim, goes up. Oh, LeBron tracked him down and made the rejection. It's over. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. Game seven of 2016. LeBron is celebrating on the Warriors court. Steph Curry, he's watching, soaking that moment up. We wanted to do whatever we could to get back there, so we were able to avenge ourselves. In 2016, the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors won a league record 73 games in the regular season. And when they had a three games to one lead in the finals, it looked like there would be a perfect ending to a magical season. But instead, there was a different narrative. We're the biggest disappointment in NBA history. No team with a 3-1 lead had ever lost in the NBA Finals. What goes to your mind, is it almost a sense of disbelief? I mean, it sucks. It's devastating. How do you get off the mat? You know, how do we keep this thing going? The Bay was so depressed. People mocked them for it. All of the 3-1 jokes and the memes. Their family name was tarnished. And then the cloud of despair that hung over the Bay Area lifted on the 4th of July with some astonishing news. My phone just goes crazy. What the heck is going on? We'll start with a seismic event in a state that is plenty used to them. Kevin Durant announced he's leaving the only franchise he's ever known to join the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. It was explosive. It's official. It's official. It's coming on board. There was a good reason to be excited. Warriors fans knew exactly what they were getting. Here we go. From his earliest days in the NBA, it was obvious that Kevin Durant was already an elite scorer. Top of the arc, Durant for three. Oh, yeah. After being named Rookie of the Year in 2008. I cannot believe this kid. Just two seasons later. Hey, let's get a bucket right here. He became an all-star. Boy, he's just unreal. That same year, Durant led the NBA in scoring the youngest scoring champ in history. And he did that for three straight seasons. We have a superstar here in Oklahoma City. KD was fast becoming the next big thing in the NBA, but not everyone was buying into the hype. I don't feel like a superstar, to be honest. You say superstar, you got to look at the Kobe Bryant's, the LeBron's. If there was any criticism of Kevin Durant out there, it was that he was too unselfish that he should have said, give me the ball. That's not Kevin Durant. Whether he realized it or not, the same players that he looked up to were looking over their shoulders at him. Is there a player out there that you're looking at that motivates you? Yeah, yeah. Who's Kevin, that player? Kevin Durant. Why? I feel like he's next in the line. But it wasn't his turn yet. LeBron James captures that elusive title. The Thunder would lose to LeBron James and the Miami Heat in the 2012 NBA Finals. But Durant kept getting better. Durant pulling up, firing and scoring! He's done it again! 
he would win his fourth scoring title for the lead and he drills it on his way to being named the most valuable player in 2014. And in 2016, it looked like he was headed back to the finals. Thunder taking a commanding three games to one lead. The greatest playoff comeback in Golden State Warriors history ends with a game seven win. But all Durant could do was watch as the Cavaliers beat the Warriors. Cleveland! This is for you! Oh. At 27 years old, Kevin Durant was preparing for his 10th season in the NBA. Now a warrior, he approached the next chapter of his life with equal doses of optimism and restraint. Nothing in this league is easy. And I know it's gonna be ups and downs throughout a season. I know we're expected to be perfect every single day, but I know that's not realistic. It's a different situation to be in when you're supposed to win. It certainly raised the stakes. It was gonna be a season defined by winning a championship or not. There's gonna be a tremendous amount of pressure on this team. Even though we had a champ in their prime. Despite all the expectations, there were still questions. When you bring this kind of firepower together, you always are wondering about the ball. Is somebody gonna have to take fewer shots? Well, having led this team to a championship and then a 73 win season, how are they gonna feel about that? You're coming to a team with a different style, kind of a unique style of play. How's that adjustment gonna work? There was certainly a contingent who was worried about it because the Warriors were built different. It was so much about chemistry. So bringing in an outsider, how much would it upset the chemistry? Welcome to another season of the NBA here on this special night in Oakland. Get it, get it, get it, get it baby. Let's go out there and have fun, man. Let's go. That's it. Looking forward to it. It'll be a lot of fun. Just us. One, two, three. Just us. The Warriors will have all eyes on them. As you go out and sign four-time scoring champ Kevin Durant, you hear the talks about chemistry. Who takes the last shot? There's just a lot of talk about this team. This is the major story going into the season. The anticipation was extraordinary as the curtain went up on opening night. But nothing could prepare them for what went down. Durant got caught staring and watching. And you can't play like that in this offense if you want to be successful. Steve told us, he said, we're still trying to find out where yes. everybody fits. Yes. There's a lot of kinks that need to be kind of ironed out. It's going to take an adjustment here. The Spurs dominate the Golden State Warriors in the opening game of the season. The final score, Spurs 129, Warriors 100. It was, I think, a uh, slap in the face that this is not going to be easy. They had to figure out how to make this work. We got punched in the mouth. I'm sure the story tomorrow will be KD broke up the chemistry and we can't win with KD. All right, here we go. Let's go speed cut, speed cut with a DHO up the lane. All right. Success was not a given, no matter how many stars were aligned. Golden State would have to work at it. Recover, recover, recover. It was a filling out process. We definitely had to figure out his role and how he could attack, where he could attack, you know, how he would have to play. Oh, nothing, nothing. We had to be open with each other about the situation, understanding how we could be aggressive and be the players that we you know, have come to be and not take away from each other. Switch! Every day, I just tried to learn more and more about the culture, more and more about the system we were playing in, and also about my teammates. But I just wanted to let them know that I'm here for y'all and I'm here to do as much as I can to help the team win. Good. Good. Kevin Durant could have come in like, all right, this is my team now. But he didn't, and he wasn't concerned about getting a shot. Oh, the ball really hopping around. KD let Draymond shoot the three. How about that? Kevin's a guy that 
is selfless, a humble superstar. What a play by Durant! That's what fits into our system. That's what fits into our culture. Durant outside to Curry, back to Draymond, back to Durant, beautiful pass! Kevin has always been a player who can play with or without the ball. Everybody moved the ball with a purpose. And that allowed him to blend in with the rest of the group. Durant up top, that's a three, oh my goodness! He moves without the ball, he passes. This team goes from good shots to great shots, so he fit in beautifully with that. Curry, lob back, Durant, who dumps it down! And a 40-point outing for Kevin Durant. Durant was gelling with his new teammates, and the Warriors' three incumbent All-Stars were also racking up some amazing nights of their own. All the hustle of Draymond Green, the rebound and then the assist. Draymond is fiery and passionate and competitive and always has an edge, and we need that. Look at Draymond bottle that in. He got the rebound. Draymond Green has another triple-double. Curry, plus traffic, takes the three. Oh, my goodness. He's an MVP, and he showed it every single day through his work ethic and how he came out and played. For the record, good! Thompson catches right corner, turns, fires, and hits! That was ridiculous! I think that game really opened my eyes to why he is one of the best players in the league. Late corner three, 60! To be on this team with some of the best players in the world, it never ceased to amaze me each, each night that they do something I've never seen before. 60 points in 29 minutes has never been done in NBA history. Uh, well, it felt great, obviously. Uh, <laughs> we welcome you to our NBA Christmas special. It's the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors. A rematch of last year's NBA Finals. Although the Warriors were piling up wins, on Christmas Day, they'd get a better sense of where they stood when they faced their nemesis, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Irving into the forecourt. Nine seconds left in the ball game. Far side guarded by Clay Thompson. Looks to go to work. Spins, fadeaway jumper. He nailed it! The Cavaliers on Christmas Day prevail as they knock off the Warriors. The Christmas game, we kind of let it slip out of our hands. I said, you know, it's still a lot more work to be done, still more progress that needs to be made. In addition to Kevin Durant, Steve Kerr was also incorporating three veterans into his rotation. David West, Javel McGee, and Zaza Pachulia. Push, push it, push it, push it. Weak side pin, Tom, weak side pin. Good job, Draymond, great pass. Good job, Tom. Way to move it, White. Being in the league for 14 years, you know, you've just about seen everything. So my role was to bring toughness, bring my experience, bring my smarts and basketball IQ. Let me stick behind the back. David West flipping it in. Two of the old vets working together. We put our egos on and personal stuff on the side, and we say, you know, we are all in for the team. Curry comes and gets the ball. Back to Petrulia, and he lays it in. Everybody had to figure out where they're getting their shots from and how I was going to move around, but as soon as we figured it out, everybody just messed well together. There's a lob! And JaVale McGee hammered it! With everyone now on the same page, the Warriors went on a roll, playing with their signature style. Make sure we continue to move the ball. We're getting anything we want. That's behind the back. Draymond good delivery to Iguodala. What makes these guys unique is that they're all very unselfish players. Durant to Iguodala, up top west, back to Durant. It's a three from the right side, and it's money in the bank. No one really cares on this team about the accolades, about the individual statistics. At the end of the day, we just want to win. Draymond, John Curry, Curry back to Draymond, to Thompson hits a three, and it's good! We have guys that sacrifice for the greater good of the team. You want to win for the next man. Keep moving, keep cutting. 
Curry to David West. Backdoor cut, Livingston goes in, scored it, and it got fouled. They're all aware that basketball is a game that has to be played together, and their talents and their skills just fit. Clark to Livingston, up top, Draymond to Curry, hits up three, it's on the way, and it's good! Every night we knew what the mission was, and there was no distractions, there was no extracurricular stuff, it was just playing basketball and worrying about winning and doing it together. Golden State had found their groove proving it in their rematch with the Cavaliers. 35-point victory for the Warriors. At midseason, the Warriors would break ground on their future home, the Chase Center. And at the All-Star break, they had the best record in the league. Golden State would be well represented in New Orleans with four players and the coaching staff on hand. Here with Clay Thompson. Clay, what's up, man? How, how was your weekend so far? It was great. That's it. This interview's over. <laughs> and here's Curry being checked by Kyrie Irving. Four fifths of Warriors starting lineup on the floor right now. Curry finds a cutting to run. Shortly after the break, the Warriors embarked on their longest road trip of the season, looking to build on their success from the first half. Morris now, backs down on Klay Thompson, turns the baseline, shoots over him, tough shot, no good. And now Durant is hurt, he and Pachulia collided. Durant trying to run it off, and they collided with his left leg. Kevin Durant comes right over in front of the Warrior bench, holding his knee. Kevin Durant has a hyper-extended left knee. He is out Warriors. for the rest of the game. I went up to my wife and I said, well, there it goes. Warriors have the best record in the league, but now a major hurdle to overcome with Durant expected to be on the shelf for a month or more. From this perspective, to consider the Cavs the quote unquote favorite, if you will, like they're a notch better. It was not good news. It was kind of disheartening, but we can't let it affect our goals. And Kevin would say the same thing. And the Golden State Warriors have dropped games in Washington and here in Chicago. It quickly became apparent that any adjustment would not come so easily. For the Warriors' third loss in the last week and a half. Most people said, oh man, well they lost KD, now it's just a team from last year and they'll be fine. But when you get used to playing with Kevin Durant, you have to adjust to that. And it's not the same team. And the Warriors will lose their third in a row as the Spurs put on some finishing touches on a game that will bring them within a half game of Golden State in the West. We stumbled. And as coaches, we were saying, we got to get this stuff straight. You know, it's different now. Let's, let's, everyone's got to step up. I hate to see one of your teammates go down with an injury, but if you want to win, you got to have that collective mentality that it's us against the world. Golden State still had the two-time most valuable player in Steph Curry, and he was ready to step up when his team needed him the most. Curry behind the back, spin left side, takes a two off of one leg, and two. Steph realized, wait a minute, I am the lead singer, is that I, I've got to be out front, and they need me now. Then he clicked into MVP mode. He's got 42. Being MVP the last two years, he sets the table. Stolen away by Curry. Curry on the break. Behind the back to Andre. Goes up and scores on the reverse. We saw the Warriors get back to what made them the Warriors. Steph running the show, and it all kind of thriving on a level of chemistry. You guys are bringing it. We got to keep that going. Keep the fire going. Grabbed by Curry, who stole it. Behind the back to Livingston. Bounce past him on ball. Who lays it up and in? When you lose a guy like Kevin, no one person is going to make up what he brings to a team. But you just have to try to do it collectively. Stolen by Matt Barnes. Outlet to Draymond. Quickly to Clark. Back to Draymond with a two-hand slam. We didn't panic. We embraced the moment. That's a next man up mentality. Draymond lead pass. Livingston over the head. And they've now won 10 in a row. I think we got better when Kevin was out just because it made us other guys step up. Curry cross towards Kim Thompson. Thompson about a 30-footer. Got it! Clay was
was slaying tonight. Finished with 41. So there it is, 13 in a row. The Warriors hit their stride and didn't miss a step when Durant returned for the final three games, as they finished the regular season with a record of 67 and 15, becoming the first team in NBA history to win at least 65 games three years in a row. They were at full strength and ready to make a run. With Kevin coming back at the right time, right before the playoffs, we were playing our best basketball. The Golden State Warriors will have home court for the postseason. The run for the ring starts Sunday. Once you get to mid-April, it's that time again. Your post kind of speeds up a little bit. It's go time. It's what we've been waiting on. We back at it. It's just the beginning. The first foe in the postseason was the Portland Trailblazers. Oh, what a block from Draymond Green! He did it again! Durant, Cutter, Draymond, off balance, off glass, it's good, and draws a foul. The Warriors cruised to a pair of victories in the first two games at home. Steph Curry! However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Steve Kerr had been battling complications from back surgery for nearly two years. And with his discomfort mounting, he was forced to make a painful decision. This past week, for whatever reason, my symptoms got worse. So I will not coach tomorrow night. If I can get some improvement, I'll get back on the sidelines. Uh, but I'm not going to do that unless I know I can help the team. I don't think people understand how messed up Steve was. This is not a sprained ankle. His whole life is impacted. I'm sure he's been coping with this situation, but it got too much to where he had to take a break. For him to say he wasn't feeling well, we were all a little down about it. We were upset that he has to deal with this over and over again. Well, this is a family. You just want to make sure your family member's OK. So our biggest thing was just get healthy. And basketball, that'll take care of itself. I was brutal to, to, uh, to have to step aside. I, I love coaching. I love being in this gym every day. All of a sudden, things beyond my control take me out of it. The reins were passed to Kerr's top assistant, Mike Brown, a former NBA Coach of the Year, who had once led the Cleveland Cavaliers to the finals. But in Brown's first game at the helm, the Warriors stumbled out of the gate and were still trailing by 16 midway through the third quarter. With Mike Brown, there's so many things that could have gone wrong there. And it would have been natural for them to go wrong. Well, of course, your head coach is out in the middle of the playoffs. I mean, what do you expect the team to do? But they were ready. Clay with a good look from three, and there it is! Give credit to Coach Brown, man. He was ready when he got called. Did a phenomenal job. We don't got to get it all back at one time. Just chip away at it. Let's follow the game plan. Simple. 12 straight points for the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors have come all the way back to tie it. The lob and the lead. And the Golden State Warriors down 17 on the road. They rally for a win. We were down double digits late just to be around our guys and look in their eyes knowing that they always believed, no matter what the score was, that they had a chance to win. That belief carried over into game four, where the Warriors dominated the Trailblazers and moved on to the second round. Golden State with a four-game closeout. What Steve Kerr had set up was enduring, and it was not going to be threatened by his absence on the bench. I'm glad this didn't happen at the beginning of the year because I didn't have the right feel or right vibe when it did happen. I felt very comfortable. I'd been around the team long enough. I knew it made them tick. And Coach Brown continued to push all the right buttons in the conference semifinals with the Utah Jazz. Let's go! Let's go! Keep moving! Up a screen, Curry left side. Dribbling out, Gobert. Backs him up, spins him around. He's got him in the wash cycle. Goes in and flips in the driving layup. Going reverse left to right. I think we did play our best ball throughout the playoffs, which is great, man. It showed us that we were just getting better throughout the whole year. Everybody get out of the way. 
the Warriors may have had some hiccups, but for the most part, this was a pavement job. I mean, this was running people over, putting the tar over them. The Golden State Warriors have swept the Utah Jazz. Another great round. Everybody contributed. We do what we do, and uh, looking forward to the Western Conference Finals. You keep waiting for that moment where it's like, all right, they're about to get tested. If you really want to pinpoint where they felt it, it's against San Antonio. In game one of the conference finals, the Spurs stunned the Warriors by racing out to a 25-point lead. Right now, we're beating ourselves. All right? That's as simple as that. Get stops, get rebounds, let's get out and run. We didn't start that good defensively. We knew that we had to do it defensively. And if we get the job done defensively, our offense will come. Right side, you know, which rotates to Anderson, stolen away by Curry, who took it away. Leaves Durant on the break, one step goes up, dumped it with the right hand. Our defense set the tone. That was kind of our calling card throughout the whole playoffs. When we got stops, we were pretty much unstoppable. Oh, Curry on the steal, fires a three, and nails it. This is how fast they do it. And once the floor tilts their way, and those threes are going in, and they're attacking the rim, and they're playing the defense that they play, they don't lose. Ginobili tried to draw the foul. Curry, bang! The Warriors survive and take game one. A scintillating comeback. We stayed together because we know what our goal was. It's bigger than just this one game. We want something really big. Golden State was locked in and their dominance was on full display as they continued to impose their will on San Antonio. Livingston, pull up jumpers, good. The annihilation continues. By sweeping the Spurs, the Warriors became the first team in NBA history to rip off 12 consecutive wins to start the playoffs. And we're headed for a third straight trip to the finals. We came here on a mission. We ain't done yet. And their sidelined head coach, was waiting to address the squad in the locker room. You guys know we're going to have to play better. We're going to be threatened no matter what the next series. And I think we're primed to take our game that, that one more step. Let's uh, enjoy this. And uh, you guys did a hell of a job. It's been an unbelievable run, but we got to finish it. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. We would never have said anything. But yeah, we felt like we were going to get to the finals, and we felt like Cleveland was going to be waiting for us. While the Warriors were making quick work of the Western Conference playoffs, in the East, the Cleveland Cavaliers were also steamrolling their opposition. Oh, LeBron hammers at home! The defending champs would go 12 and 1 on their side of the bracket to set the stage for an unprecedented third consecutive showdown between these two rivals at the NBA Finals. For the Warriors, it was their chance for revenge. In life, sometimes you don't get chances at redemption. I didn't know it was going to happen in this series, but here's your opportunity. Pace, 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 pace. Throw it ahead, look to push, look to attack. Keep these guys on their heel. We got a game plan, let's follow it, all right? It's a tough task for us, but we're ready for it. Play smart, play tough, play together. Let's have fun. Just us, what you do? Just us. In the early moments of game one, an aggressive Kevin Durant wasted little time before making an opening statement. Durant goes around LeBron. By James who falls down. It's a dunk for KD. Durant makes it look so easy. KD poured in 23 first half points, but the Cavaliers still had LeBron James and Kyrie Irving to keep the contest close. Kristen Thompson hand off Irving who draws a foul and hits the shot. Kyrie Irving with a circus shot. Looks like the Cavs finally found something that works offensively. Irving gets away. Green picks him up. Irving drives hard and banks it home. They force you to play at a high level. You couldn't make a mistake against them. They were going to burn you. Pass inside. Tristan Thompson finds James. Bumped it right on top of McGee. And that will end the first half. As the game goes, we'll get our flow, and all you playmakers, you're going you're gonna to be involved in the flow. If you don't have it, move it. Drive it, move it, kick, and let the next guy make the play. 
following intermission, Golden State's execution was simply too much for Cleveland to handle. Durant storms into the forecourt down to our right. Durant, Curry for three. Bang! Curry, deep three. Puts it in. And the Warriors have taken game one with a final score of 113 to 91. 38, 8, and 8 for Kevin Durant in this NBA Finals opener. Get that first one, a good feeling. We obviously know there's a lot of work to do. LeBron, what was one thing that stands out to you? KD. After an impressive showing in the first game of the finals, the Warriors situation was about to get even better. I'm just gonna tell you I'm coaching tonight and the rest of the series. I'm excited and it's good to be back. Coach Kerr, what a fighter. He's out here sacrificing his health to try and win a championship. That will to be out here and to coach us and lead us, it trickled down to everybody on this team to do better. Steve Kerr just came out on the floor and listened to this ovation. He shows up game two. The crowd's reaction was huge. We got some life uh, thing underneath us that night just to see him back on the bench. But the mood in the building abruptly changed when the home team struggled to find a way to contain LeBron James. And James throws it right down in his face. That's what you've got to do. Send a message. Transition defense. LeBron's coming downhill at it. Now as LeBron goes to the foul line, down the lane, James splits the defense, gets inside, and finishes. Good job. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Pop was like, you know, my mentor. He would always tell us in these situations, it's supposed to be hard. With the disappointment from last year's finals still fresh in his mind, Stephen Curry sought an opening to swing the momentum. Steph Curry can shrink a lead in one flick of the wrist. White side Curry dribbles on James, takes a baseline, brings it back outside, now spins back to his right hand, fakes, comes left hand, drives on James all the way, goes up and scores! He beat him to the rim! Timeout Cleveland! What a move by Curry! Yes, no. Curry takes it up quickly to the front court. Oh, and a pass, and Livingston throws it down! Some extraordinary individual performances here tonight. The Warriors' control of this contest started to slip when LeBron mounted yet another charge. James with a triple-double, his eighth in the finals, tying Magic Johnson for most finals triple-doubles ever. But Steph was not to be denied, supplying a timely response to every challenge. Curry takes a three off the dribble. Steph Curry from downtown! He's got a triple-double. With 32 points, 10 rebounds and 11 assists, Curry had ensured that the Warriors would not surrender their home court advantage. And that will run it out to the Golden State Warriors. Take a two games to none lead in the 2017 NBA Finals, and they hand it to Cleveland. They did what we were supposed to do at home. We went to. Feels good. Get the win. Hopefully, we can bring that momentum to Cleveland. Don't be satisfied. We've got a long way to go. Long way to go. We're playing an unbelievably competitive team, dominant team. Now we got to go back there. This is where the series changed you know, last year. It was 2-0 last year and we lost. So we know, trust me, we know. None of it matters unless we can finish the job. It's a coach's job to give the players a vision. It's a coach's job to you know, help them through the, the adversity, the ups and downs. But ultimately, it's the coach's job to shift ownership of the team to the group so that the players are empowered. We're, 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 we're pretty much saying we're going to sell out and try to turn them over, yeah. as opposed to saying we're going to get them here and make them beat us. I think we got to make them score. Right. That's good. If you can play more. 
Coach Kerr's done a great job of establishing the identity of what it means to play Warriors basketball. Whether he was there or not, those messages they're going. They know what they're doing. They're the best in the world at what they do. So put them in the best position to succeed. Don't try to be Geppetto and pull all the strings and tell them what to do. The scene has shifted to Cleveland for the second straight year. It's the Warriors who have a two games to none lead over the Cavaliers. So oh, here we go, set for game three here in 2017. Lay Thompson moving beautifully without the ball. And makes an acrobatic drive. And adjusts his body to back it home. Great finish by Thompson. Good job, Clay! Left side, Clay in transition, open three. Got another one! Clay Thompson lighting it up. 16 points already. Desperate to slow down their opponents, the defending champions turned up their physicality. Good defense! Boy, it is getting very physical. I really love the intensity that this game is being played at right now. Hey, everybody just out here playing hard, brother. The Cavaliers had clawed their way back into the game. And the Warriors were once again on their heels, struggling to find answers for James and Irving. James drives hard and throws it down! Oh, LeBron! Split between Durant and McGee! He crashes it! LeBron is a sensational 10 of 11 from the field. Irving spins, drives, land. Oh, sensational move from Kyrie Irving. This is a good run by Cleveland. They've done a good job making up some ground. A counteroffensive continued as Kyrie Irving broke out his entire repertoire. Now to Irving with a no-look pass. He puts it up and puts it in. Kyrie Irving does it again. Long rebound, Irving, Cavs on a run. Irving, one on three, goes all the way in. Irving to the foul line, down the lane, puts it up, and puts it in! A dazzling display from Kyrie Irving. And this is the largest lead of the finals for the Cavaliers. Red, let's go! There we go! The momentum had clearly shifted in Cleveland's favor. We're down eight, we're down 10 points late in the game, and it's not looking too good. Turn it up right now! That's what it's about right now. KD waits, gets a screen by Draymond. Kevin Durant takes a dribble, takes a three. That's good from downtown. That was about a 27-footer for KD. Led by Kevin Durant, the Warriors would cut the Cavaliers' lead to four points in the waning moments of the fourth quarter. Kevin Durant now guarded by Tristan Thompson on the switch, takes him all the way in, big baseline fade up and good with the right hand. It's a two-point game with a minute 15 to go. Still in need of a bucket with time ticking away, the ball was in KD's hands yet again. He's been waiting for this since 2012 when he lost to LeBron in the finals. This was his moment, this was his time. Kevin Durant one-on-one -on -one coming at you full court. There's nothing you can do. Durant's got the rebound. 50 seconds to go for the Warriors. They're down by two. Durant at the left side, calls his own number. And he hit a three! Durant hit a three! Yeah. Yeah. That's good, Kevin Durant from downtown. Durant for three in the lead, and he's got it! Warriors take the lead here in Cleveland. Kevin was just ready for this, and he knew it. I believe that at some point in my career, I was gonna hit a big shot from that spot. What a stunning turnaround in the final couple of minutes. For him to have the guts to you know, come down and, and take that shot, it was just a magical moment. The Golden State Warriors have stunned the crowd here at Quicken Loans Arena. They win it 118 to 113 to go up three games to none. The way he performed on that stage, it was huge. The way that the game went, it was back and forth, it was high intensity, and the way that they played pretty much the whole game, to find a way to win was just an amazing accomplishment and set us up for, you know, hopefully a, a great night Friday. After Durant's heroics in game three, the Golden State Warriors were in position to avenge their loss in 2016 and to reclaim the crown in historic fashion. 
With a 3 0 lead, you should be confident, but we're not satisfied. And so that's the most important thing just understanding the task at hand and what we need to do. You don't want to mess around. You're up 3 0. You got all the momentum. You got to carry that through. The Golden State Warriors are on the cusp of history. Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and crew have the chance to do something that has never been done before advance through the NBA playoffs undefeated. Use your incredible skill and talent, right? And then you know, have that appropriate fear for your opponent. It's all about that balance that we talk about all the time. With their backs against the wall, Cleveland was determined not to go down without a fight. Back to James, he's fouled and one. Back to Irving, he'll unload a three. He's got it! Kyrie Irving at the top. Cuts to the left, drives hard, hands down, scores! 86 in the first half for Cleveland. As the greatest scoring half in NBA Finals history comes to an end. Golden State's bid to make history had come to an end, and the celebration would have to wait for another day. LeBron on the right of the foul line. James drives, scoop layup, pass to himself, and he throws it down! Credit them, they had a lot of pride. They just beat us. Cleveland is still alive as the Cavs force game five Monday in Oakland. Let's go. 3-1. Heard that before? It's hard to win a championship. They're a great team. We have a ton of respect for them. Ultimately, we did not bring the level of physicality to the game from the beginning that we're going to need to in game five. I just want to leave a legacy here in the Bay. It's one of the best teams ever. It was all I thought about last summer, how precious each season is, each possession, each game, and each lesson you can learn. We came back on a mission. It was personal for everyone. We bring the title back to Oakland. We have guys that are selfless, humble, it goes beyond just the basketball team. It's a culture within the organization. It's the commitment to each other. It's the commitment to the game itself. It's the commitment to winning. We were so locked in. The passing, the scoring, the shooting. It was beautiful. We did it. We're NBA champs. Pass Andre to the rim, goes up. Oh, LeBron tracked him down and made the rejection. It's over. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. Game seven of 2016. LeBron is celebrating on the Warriors court. Steph Curry, he's watching, soaking that moment up. We wanted to do whatever we could to get back there, so we would be able to avenge ourselves. In 2016, the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors won a league record 73 games in the regular season. And when they had a three games to one lead in the finals, it looked like there would be a perfect ending to a magical season. But instead, there was a different narrative. We're the biggest disappointment in NBA history. No team with a 3-1 lead had ever lost in the NBA Finals. What goes to your mind is it almost a sense of disbelief. I mean, it sucks. It's devastating. How did you the Warriors struggled to find an answer. Cleveland will not go away trying to force a game six. However, this time, it was another story. And the difference maker was evident. Hey, they're going to make some runs. 
Stay poised. Execute every play. Every play over and over again. Back out to McCall. The rookie finds Durant. Steps back for three. Pumps it in. Getting by Carver all the way to the rim, lays it in, and it's a 12-point Warrior lead. Another electrifying performance from Kevin Durant. 39 points, and they're starting to celebrate here at Oracle Arena. Curry guided by Irving. Listen to the roar here at Oracle. Curry sticks a three in front of the cap, and it's good! For us to do what we did in front of our own fans, I wouldn't trade that for anything. You got 20,000 fans going crazy. The road to redemption has brought the Warriors back home. The Golden State Warriors are the 2017 NBA champions. That split second was just what it's all for. You know, that two or three seconds, as soon as the buzzer sound. Can't call him nothing else. Just being his teammate and seeing him go through what he went through this whole year to, to finally realize the goal. You just feel so blessed. I love you, KD. Love you, Coach. You're an that amazing was amazing. player and even oh, better person. Thank you, Coach. Such a joy to come to. The 2017 Finals MVP, Kevin Durant. It was all validated. He joined a group that could help him win a championship, and yet, in the end, he was the MVP of the Finals. I won the Finals MVP, but more importantly, we did it together. It wouldn't have been that way if we're out Steph or Clay or Draymond or Sean or Andre. The Golden State Warriors go 16 and 1 in the playoffs, an NBA record. It makes you appreciate it a lot more when you have to go through something like we went through last year in order to reach the mountaintop this year. It's to see David West and Zaza and Matt Barnes, he's great veteran players who have committed their whole careers to winning and finally break through and to win a ring. That's what makes this special for me. It's awesome! It's, it's awesome! Two of them. Two. We care. Guys care about each other. We care about winning. Everybody's a part of this journey, and that's the culture that they've, they've built here. When you have a collaborative energy, and that's what a team is about, that collaborative energy, Magic can happen. It's amazing, man. Let's go. This is what we set out for. We deliver. Best feeling in the world. Never would have envisioned this in my six years with the Warriors. But here we are now. We got multiple championships, and I'm, I'm so thankful. I know Clay about to douse me with some yeah, champagne. Oh, it feels amazing. Oh my gosh. I was hoping I can't. I've been dreaming of a champagne shower in the locker room for a long time, boy. And your boy did it. Yeah. I've never been a part of nothing like this. Everybody sacrifices, everybody does their role, and it was just a culmination of everything. We did it. We're champions, world champions. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is amazing. Worth every minute of the work. Ups and downs. Oh man. It feels like a dream, but I think I'm wide awake. NBA champion, Finals MVP. Can't beat what it's about right here. We're about to celebrate with the Bay Area, all the fans out there. It's awesome, man. People showing a lot of love. It just started, too, man. It's great. Man, this is the best feeling in the world right here, man. I'm just happy to be in this position. Blessed to be able to play the game I love with great teammates, and we are champs again. This is 
not guaranteed every year, so to be a part of this is a great experience, man. Thank you for the commitment to each other and to the team. Talented and committed, every one of you just ultimate warriors. It's been an amazing journey uh, with these guys who we go to war with every single day. This feeling just never gets old. What's up, Dub Nation? It means the world to me to win the championship for you guys, and hopefully we keep it going, but we're going to enjoy this one. So thanks a lot for your support. June 12, 2017. I know you're going to remember that day for a very, very, very long time. Supporting Dub Nation. We champs! We the champs! We just want to leave a legacy here in the Bay. It's one of the best teams ever. It was all I thought about last summer. We just want to leave a legacy here in the Bay. It's one of the best teams ever. It was all I thought about last summer, how precious each season is, each possession, each game, and each lesson you can learn. We came back on a mission. It was personal for everyone. We bring the title back to Oakland. We have guys that are selfless, humble. It goes beyond just the basketball team. It's a culture within the organization. It's the commitment to each other. It's a commitment to the game itself. It's a commitment to winning. We were so locked in. The passing, the scoring, the shooting. It was beautiful. We did it. We're NBA champs. Bounce pass, Andre to the rim, goes up. Oh, LeBron tracked him down and made the rejection. It's over. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. Game seven of 2016. LeBron is celebrating on the Warriors court. Steph Curry, he's watching, soaking that moment up. We wanted to do whatever we could to get back there, so we were able to avenge ourselves. In 2016, the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors won a league record 73 games in the regular season. And when they had a three games to one lead in the finals, it looked like there would be a perfect ending to a magical season. But instead, there was a different narrative. We're the biggest disappointment in NBA history. No team with a 3-1 lead had ever lost in the NBA Finals. 